In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks to getting all the gems. And somewhere in the video, I'm going to teach you how to actually place the gems. So make sure you watch to the end. But before we get into that, a quick word from today's sponsor, Dreamscape. Dreamscape is a free, fun game where you build up your own base and battle other people's bases. While at the same time, improving your reading skills like right here you read a story that you answer a question and that speed ups the time and lets you build up your base quicker there are over 2.5 million registered players and you can actually add me as a friend and try to destroy my base all you need to do is sign up for a student's account upgrade your vision core to level 2 like i did it's really easy and then come over to menu friends list and then invite friends and then type in here Allen B15 like that. Also, Dreamscape has a membership where you can get awesome skins and rewards as well as giving your parents more options to enhance your learning experience. The annual membership is only $5 a month and you get 10% off the annual membership if you use my code above right here. Get 10% off. Sign up for a Dreamscape account today and tell your parents to get the discounted annual membership. Also, tell your teachers about this game so you can improve your reading skills while having fun in school. Alright, now let's get into the tips and tricks. So the first section I kind of want to touch on is pets. You want to use specific types of pets depending on what gem you're trying to get so for example here in firefly forest you would want to use fire pets instead of like water because fire is stronger than earth this basically works everywhere so like bonfire spire you would use water pets just make sure you're using the strong pets for the region or place you're trying to get and if you have the epics like i do right here let me show right here the epics use epic attacks they are very strong and use the type that is like strong against where you are it'll really help it's okay if you don't have epics though because you can still get the gems without them all right now i'm gonna do a quick time lapse of me using epic attacks and using the strong types of pets to show you how powerful it is i basically can't lose As you can see from that short little time lapse, I just used fire attacks and I basically destroyed them. They didn't even have a chance. So you can see how powerful using the right type can be. Now, something else I want to touch on is using the strongest gear possible. I see people over here using some good looking gear, but it's super weak. If you have a membership, you really want to go to the dark tower because you can get the mirrorless robe and all that powerful gear. Also make sure you use the right types of relics as you can see right here. Like if you're going to be fighting earth types, get an earth relic, I meant a fire relic. As you can see I would use the powerful fire relic. Now I'm going to show an example of how much gear affects me. So like I'm going to fight without gear and show you how much like damage that did to my health i mean how little health i start with stuff like that going to use a very bad one as you can see right there going to go into battle um i think i'll go to battle right here shiver chill mountains i never go here i'm always going firefly forest so right here Let's see how much damage this does. 2,800. Oh. 
that's not a lot at all. And you can see I start out with 8,000 health. Alright, now I'm gonna go and battle, but with actually like strong gear, my strongest gear, and my wand. Alright, let's see how much damage it's gonna do. I'm expecting at least 3,000. 3,200, well, almost 200. You can see, and I start with 9,200 health. You can really see how powerful using the strong gear is. That's it for the strong gear section though, using the right gear will make you get the gems so much faster because you're gonna win your games faster, so make sure to not just wear gear based on how it looks, but actually use strong gear. This will also help a lot once you're fighting the bosses as they are pretty hard and you want to use the best gear possible because any amount of health matters. Now another section which is a pretty uh, obvious one is math. You want to make sure you get your questions right. Wow I know. <laughs> yeah this is pretty obvious. You obviously don't want to get your questions wrong. But just make sure that you get them right. Especially in the boss battles. Take your time. Because if you get one wrong it can ruin your whole battle and make you lose. Alright now I'm going to be talking about how to place the gems. Alright so to place the gems first thing you want to do go to your map and then go to the academy. If you haven't gone here before it will make you have to like fight someone, uh, the puppet master. You have to do a couple of things to get inside. But then besides that all you need to do is walk over here. And simply just click over here, uh, click on the pedestal, I think that's the name, and then place the gem. You can actually only place the Firefly gem right now. I'm pretty sure soon they'll change it so you can place the others. And then you can fight in the Firefly place or the Earth gem place, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, basically you just walk over here and place it. You can't place the others, they haven't made the sections yet, they haven't programmed it into the game, so you need to wait a little bit. But right now, focus on getting your earth gem and the other ones, so when they add, adding the other gems, you can actually place them. It would be the same thing, you just need to go here, click the pedestal, and place. Um, and yeah, it's pretty easy, just make sure you do it to the earth gem. And then uh, just go to the section for the earth gem. It's pretty cool. But anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.